हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ कल्पना एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कल्पा वृक्षा फार्म्स यूजली यूल सी अ लॉड ऑफ फार्मिंग वीडियोज हाउ वी आर ग्रोइंग वेजिटेबल्स ऑन आर फार्म एंड अदर थिंग्स बट दिस वीडियो इज़ गोइंग टू बी स्लाइटली डिफरेंट एंड प्रॉब्ली द फॉलोइंग सीरीज एज वेल एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दट आई एल बी शेयरिंग सम ऑफ माई फार्म हाउस डेक और इंटीरियर्स एक्चुअली सो एज प्रोमिस्ड आई एल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू माई डिज़ाइन प्रोसेस ऑफ हाउ आई एम प्लानिंग टू डू दिस um the first thing is i am going to be uh following a french country meets shabby chic farmhouse theme so <laughs> it is kind of crazy to be sitting here in india and dreaming about a french colonial uh, aesthetics but uh, that's something that i had my heart set on and i wanted to uh, you know do that for my farmhouse and i will really really hope that you would love what you see and this is quite a challenge and i i know uh, that i have taken on uh, more than i could achieve uh, this time but i'll i'll really try my best and you will be there to witness this along with me so i will be taking you through uh, of course my uh, design process of how i started how i'm going to putting these things together uh, number one we will be talking about the uh, essential elements of uh you know getting this or pulling this style together uh, the second thing is of course about my thrifting philosophy that's that's going to be a very important crucial aspect of this video that you'll be seeing and um, i'll also be talking about a lot of diy's because i have to recreate a lot of pieces to look and match my uh french country aesthetics so it's very difficult with the locally found um, items that i'll have Uh, so you will be seeing how i'm trying to diy my way through uh, these uh, these little uh, finds that i have so you are in for a wild ride so let's get started the first thing i did was create three custom pieces a very farm housey looking bench this bench i had to have it to give me the you know give me the farm house vibes so this comfortable looking bench was the first thing i got made the second thing was a very french colonial architecture inspired console table with its very typical con uh, cabriole legs uh with attention to detail of the drawer handles the color and everything this was a must for me to give that a french inspired look and uh, the next is the armoire which had to be custom made uh because a specific area was marked out for it while the construction of the house itself once these three things were in place i had a sudden spark of idea to uh go for thrifted pieces antique pieces for the rest of my furnishings the reason for this decision was of course very simple sustainability and eco friendly let me explain the first reason is we won't end up consuming new furniture that would require cutting down more trees the second is by picking up old discarded items we could give them new life by reusing recycling or upcycling them to our needs and the third best of all is you will not only rescue a beautiful antique piece but also bring home some of the history and the old world charm that comes with these pieces This is a frame that I bought uh, just for the frame, not for the picture. Of course, I'm going to change the picture, but I wanted to uh, buy that for the frame. And all these were at very throwaway prices because they were literally discards. And this this uh, drawer, I'm going to be transforming it into a shelf, which you will see what I do. This is another wall shelf which I found in a very dilapidated condition. It was literally falling apart. So, this is another challenge and uh, I'm going to see what I can do with it. For sure. This is a beautiful piece and I wanted to do something upcycle it and see what I can and how I can use it. While you visit the Sunday, don't forget to pick up some beautiful flowers or plants as well. We picked up a lot of roses. The next stop was Pondicherry. 
we were on our way for our you know annual uh, vacation to our native place and uh, <laughs> i was already into this antiquing fever so i did not waste my trip uh, so on the way to pondicherry we stopped at a few places um, and you know shop to our hearts content uh, while in this new journey into uncovering my own design sensibilities i wanted to share something i feel is very crucial to all of us earth beings no matter where we live and what our desires um, are we must always try to incorporate local finds in whatever shape form or size for instance finding exotic pieces and exporting them from far off places is not only very expensive it is also not sustainable um, and it's very costly for the planet as well so even in decorating i urge you to see how you can make it more sustainable and earth friendly look at these gorgeous pieces that's a pillar part which was broken uh, it was only half the pillar uh, you know base and these are some pillar parts which i'll be using it as candle stands or you know candle holders and corbels also use it as corbels for my mantel piece so you will see what i do with them so this is my pondicherry antique store find this pieces these two pieces i saw that this was a kashmiri wood work and it was broken like you see he the shopkeeper just you know stuck it with a glue and gave it to me and these three pieces again were parts of pillars in a chipped condition um this one here was also a broken piece we don't even know what it belongs to but it was just there and i thought i could use it and assemble it as part of something else um so uh each piece here is just a discarded part of something something bigger something whole but uh, not individually sold so after visiting a few thrift shops it was time to hit the native place this is money's ancestral village after visiting thrift shops it was time to visit our own uh, godons and uh, in my husband's place a couple of godons that stored old windows doors and grain silos and other discarded pieces from the time they had rebuilt their ancestral home was all there for us to uh, pick and choose from and there were some treasures we found here you are not going to believe it one visit to this rundown godon revealed so many treasures and heirloom pieces that my vintage heart sang in delight we rummaged through and found some very exquisite pieces the best was this vintage uh, cradle that we found look at this beauty that paint chipping off the rusty rings oh dear more than anything i cherish the sentimental value attached to this this has once cradled my husband when he was a baby so this definitely needs to be treasured thank god i found this before it was discarded away this is for keeps for sure this is another <laughs> treasure trove another good one with a lot of things the yesterday year ventilators and the broken window frames and all kinds of nicks and nacks were here and again we really went through and rummaged through all of this and found some great pieces as well i'll be painting these pieces maybe upcycling them i can already see and visualize so many things using this um you know very unrelated items and you might be wondering what i'm going to be doing with all of these having a french you know <laughs> country interior theme and look at what i'm doing here uh, but uh, you'll see what i'm going to try to make up with all of these money is there 
really <laughs> finding all these uh, you know discarded things uh, but every time he gets in there he finds something really good so let's go inside and check out what we have here There is something about being surrounded by so much history in these items. I find myself in a constant surge of creative energy thinking of ways to incorporate all of these in my designs. I hope <laughs> you are finding some inspiration too. Look at those grand looking silos and those um, tombais like in they call in Tamil where they store the grains. These are just beautiful pieces. Um, I don't know. I don't have uh, words to <laughs> describe right now, but I'm finding so much inspiration uh, from looking at all of these. I really hope you're enjoying rummaging through some exquisite finds, and I really hope you can see what I see. You might want to stick around for the next episode to see how we progress. So do subscribe and share this with someone who would love to see this. finally transported all these pieces to our farmhouse and now it's time for me to think about what and where I'm going to put these and what I'm going to do with them. Where once I was strictly trying to adhere to French country style architecture and designs, now I was able to see not only the overlapping of similarity in Indian and French architecture, but also discovered a newfound appreciation for antiques. Design wise, I'm going to experiment and find ways to add a touch of French to my Indian finds and see how that works out. Once I started visiting thrift stores, my perception and views completely flipped and I fell in love with old uh, wood and ancient, uh, you know, broken, dilapidated pieces even. So from wanting to find pieces that could fit perfectly into my French country uh, theme, uh, I was I was now looking for discarded pieces, even broken uh, items, so I could simply paint them, upcycle them, and reuse them, and use these exquisite uh, pieces uh, to fit into you know my theme and my design. Do share your suggestions and ideas of what you envision for these pieces. It will really help me think outside the box. So if you need me, I'll be painting these knickknacks and decoupaging it and creating ornate pieces to fit my very Indian yet very French country shabby chic farmhouse. I hope you'll join me in soaking in all this goodness of antiquing, thrifting and designing an old world French country theme that I'm creating this summer. I'm unpacking my design process and taking you along for the ride, right from the very beginning. This is where it all starts. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you have subscribed to my channel and press the bell icon for notifications. You don't want to miss this. There is lots more to come that I'll share in my next video. 
Stay tuned.